Craig's in Jacksonville, Florida. Hi, Craig. How are you? Good, sir. How are you doing today? Better than I deserve. What's up? Doing good, and it's a very it's an honor to finally meet you. And sorry, I'm just a little nervous. It's okay. Um, How can we help? I had a, a quick question. Um, I was trying to figure out, I guess, how I would stay motivated during the baby step two. Um, I've been listening to you for about a year through all your YouTube videos and podcasts, and I actually I was listening to some of the videos before I called you today, and that's what encouraged me to call. Um, I'm currently, again, working on baby step two. I've probably paid about 35000 out of the $60,000 in debt so far. Way to go. And I'm just kind of hitting a an emotional, like mental and motivation speed bump in this process. Why do you think that is? Well, I just have a, a bunch of stuff on my mind um, with the career path I have, um, family issues going on, my health and everything. So things have just kind of taken a toll over this whole year of grinding out through this debt paying journey that I'm on. What's wrong with your health? Well, I have congestive heart failures um, since I've been since I was 26. I'm th I'm 30 years old now. So that did, that did, I, that did not change. No, no, sir. Okay, what's wrong with your family? Uh, um, my mother and father actually have split up and now kind of reworking their relationship. So that's kind of a cause to on everything because I actually stay with family member because of the health issue I have. So, you stay with one of them? I I stay at my uh, grandmother's house. She bought the house when my when we moved here in Florida, and I've been staying there. Okay, so your parents house. are not in your in your space every day, but they're they're going through their own crap, right? They are, and my father tends to use me as a crutch while I'm going through what I'm going through, and sometimes it's very hard. Yeah. Okay. And then you said you have a, a career path issue? Yes. Um, I'm currently a manager at a local Walgreens I work with. I make about 31000 a year. And um, I, I'm blessed to have a job because I was working at a different job before COVID, and then I switched back to this job. So, And I'm just kind of not really happy where I'm at because of the amount I make. And it, it has got me through the first year of me paying my – Debt that I have, but I've just kind of felt like a slow, you know, slowly my motivation starting to hit rock bottom. That makes sense. Yeah, because here's what's happening. You feel like this job's happening to you. You're not happening to it. You feel like your parents' yes. mess is happening to you. You're not happening to it. And the heart thing yes, is sir. happening to you, and obviously you can't happen to it. Uh, you yes, don't sir. get to control that one. Uh, but no. these, these things are uh, controlling you. Because you're allowing them to. Yes, sir. The parents' mess um, and your job mess. So you have the... Here, here's the thing. It's hard to have a sense of power over your money when you have mm -hmm. uh, a sense of powerlessness in key relationships and powerlessness in your career. Yes, sir. They, they It's, you know... Because it's sucking what confidence you're... You gain a little confidence over here in the money thing. Like, you paid off 35000 That's really good. But then it gets yes, sick. Sir. It's like your dad and mom come along with a confidence uh, syringe and remove it. Mm -hmm. Craig, how long did it take to pay off the thirty-five? Um, I actually started last July, and that's including working at my job with overtime and side gigs here and there. Dude, you've been living off nothing. That's impressive. Yeah. I've literally, every two weeks, I literally live off $150 in beans and rice, rice and beans, literally. Wow. Okay. Well, on the health side, that's something you've got to manage. That's obviously not something we can just fix overnight. On the parent yeah, yeah. side, it may require a boundary with dad and a hard conversation. Say, Dad, listen, you need to find a good therapist, a counselor who can help walk you through this. I can't be that for you. And on the career side, you can go be a manager somewhere else. You can start applying today and probably make way more than 31. Yes, sir. And so if you have that pep in your step going, I'm in control. I can do this. And worst case, you're doing this for one year longer. Why would you start the baby steps to begin with? Because I wanted that financial freedom. I remember not having any debt, having money in the bank, um, 
you know, able to buy something I want it, not go, you know, take like a car payment or anything out, but just having that financial freedom and not that burden. You, you know, then, you know what the problem with a free book is? Nobody reads them because they were free. Nobody paid for it. You didn't pay for it. But I'm going to give yes, you sir. two free books anyway on the risk yes, that I can get you to read them. I'm going to give you Paycheck to Purpose by Ken Coleman. So yes, you sir. get up on top of this career thing and you start happening to it instead of it happening to you. And I'm going to give you Own Your Past, Change Your Future from Dr. John Deloney so you can begin to have some tools to work with mom and dad and say, I love you, but I can't fix this. I'm actually the kid. You're actually the parent. I can't fix this. And so uh, only the strong can help the weak, and you are not strong enough to carry your dad right now. So him being uh, using you as a crutch, he's got a rubber crutch. He's going to hit the floor. So uh, And you're both going down. So, you, you know, you've got to love him uh, but not be carrying around his stuff. You're carrying around all of his burdens instead of him carrying them. And you feel stuck over at the job because you haven't done anything about getting unstuck. So I'm going to give you both books, and uh, they're two different things. But this all comes back to, Craig, you taking power, you taking uh, George's word agency over go. your life in these areas. And uh, when you do, you're going to get some energy back for getting out of debt. But right now, you got these two, three negative drains pulling you down while you've got one area you're being successful in. That is very difficult for anyone, my man. Well, Dave, I'm going to add in one more gift in case he gets sick of reading. Craig, I'm going to send you Financial Peace University. You can watch those videos. It also will include every dollar, the premium version, so you can make a plan for every dollar coming in and attack this debt faster because I don't want you to have to sacrifice longer than you have yeah, to. Yeah, you know, that's good. And get try to find one of the financial peace groups in your area and oh, join that's good. it. Get connected and real Get, get real some people. human beings in the room with you. Who are excited that you showed that'll up again. Uh, that will hold you accountable. They're not going to put up with whining. But they also, in the other side, are going to love you. Mm -hmm. And just say, hey, man, you know, you can do this. They'll encur Encouragement and accountability we all need in areas where we're struggling. So, yeah, we'll plug you into all of that. So, we're, dude, we're going to load you up with resources uh, because it's it's easy to to um, ha have this many things coming at you it, that are stealing power in so many different areas. It's easy to feel powerless. The interesting thing is you're not, mm. that you can just decide today, I'm not carrying my father's stuff around. He gets to carry his own stuff. I can apply for I, a new I job. I love him, and I know he's hurting, but I can't fix all that. I'm going to let him carry his own deal. And here's his backpack. And I don't want to be at this, uh, this, you know, oh, yeah. this Walgreens John, anymore. So Dr. I'm, John talks about that all the time, the bricks in the backpack that yeah. we carry around from other people, putting them in there. Yep. And we're wondering why we can't even crawl. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, unpack Exactly what's going on here. So, yeah, you can do this, man. You really can. And if you need some more help, you call back anytime. We're here to talk to you. And, and give Ken Coleman a call on his show. That'd yeah. be a fun one yeah, yeah, on the we'll, career side. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll always tell you the truth, but um, I, I just kind of hear it. And, um, you know, when you don't have, uh, when you don't physically feel great because of the heart thing going on, it makes it triple hard to fight through the other stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's a mental exercise of tough mental toughness for you to move through these other areas, controlling the things you can control, and then things start to move for you. And let that, go of the rest. That's exactly it. Hey, thank you for calling, sir. Hang on. We'll get you all those materials out to you and try to help you any way we can.